You're watching Future TV. Last time we were with the Senor family, they were arguing about who left the lid off the mustard. Since then, they've discovered they didn't own any mustard. Well, they'd better get this started pretty soon. I've got a hot date tonight. What? I said a hot date. I think he said he's got a heartache. A heartache? Go to the emergency room. No. I said a hot date. Oh, a hot date. Oh, yes, thank you. I'd love some of that. Oh, never mind. Let's just get on with it. This program may contain copious amounts of gratuitous and unnecessary violence. Any character resemblance to actual people is strictly impossible since no human would ever behave or talk this way. And now, to this evening's program, Body Discovered. Between two places, with different people in charge of who will take responsibility for the investigation. You want to know why I chose this job, Mort? Because there are more serial murders in this 200-person town than anywhere else in the entire country. You can say that again. Let me take you through all the gory details of exactly how this person was killed. I've got the file. I really don't think we need to. Trust me, it's important for the story. I mean, really? Is it? First, the killer used the cheese grater. But I'm sure you can already imagine. But let me show you anyway. Mort, this really doesn't feel necessary. Oh, boy. Yes, I see. I got that from when you told me. I really didn't need to see it. But it's important for authenticity. But I've got the file. I really don't think it's necessary for me to... Tell that to him, or her. Tell that to them, that you read their file. What's going on here? Steve, there's been a... body discovered. Judith, this is my town. What do you think you're doing here? Well, actually, Steve, this happened on a National Trust park, which makes it my jurisdiction. Yes, but... Last year, the council decided to buy back the land from the National Trust, which although initially fell within the scope of the trust jurisdiction... Can we just get back to the body, please? You're right. We'll check this later. So, <clears throat> what do we have here, Mort? Another body? Yeah, would you like to see it see Port close? I really don't think he needs to. Yes, please. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, dear. Hmm. Looks like another cheese grater. Would you like to see the murder weapon? Oh, yes, if I may. <laughs> you already know how they died. This just feels gratuitous. What did she say? She said she hadn't left a gratuity. What on earth for, I can't imagine. Don't you mean fortuitous? No, a gratuity. Fortuitous. Gratuity. Fortuitous. I agree. Keep it down up there. Bleeding goggle boxes. Now what's all this with a gratuity? I can't follow this nonsense. What else is on? You are worthless. Your ideas are worthless. Nobody is ever going to love you. It's so funny to be proud of me, Dad. Go home and cry to your mummy. Sharon, can we get David off the stage, please? We're trying to shoot the show here. I'll see you both home later, my loves. All right. We got the next contestant. <sighs> OK. What's your name? Sally, I mean Sarah. Well, which is it? Sally, Sarah, Susan? Sarah. And you understand we're here to find the next great British TV show idea? Not the world's most confused bedwetter, correct? Yes, sir. All right, what's your idea? What I thought people really benefit from is a positive news channel, an alternative to the constant stream of negative... Next! Idea. It's got romance. It's got violence. It's factual. We're listening. It's a pull back the curtain. 
behind the scenes look at. Yes. David Daffy Brook. The movie shades. That's disgusting. Why we're getting Oh my goodness. Next. Warning, this program contains references to costophilia. And now, back to tonight's true crime documentary series, The Real Coronation Street, Britain's Most Dangerous Neighbourhood. So, tell us what happened to make you the last living people on Coronation Street. Well, to be fair, this used to be like a regular street up until about December 1960. Apparently after that, that's when things start getting really strange. But it went until the 1990s when all the pharmaceutical companies and the serial killers started moving in. That things got really bad. Costa, Costa, Costa! But, please. And what happened next? Well, suddenly people were dying. Left, right, centre. Murder here, terminal illness there. Don't forget the Costa! That's right. Just when we thought it couldn't get any worse, they bring in a Costa bloody coffee. And even when the Costa moved in, people still weren't suspicious. Well, eventually most people started to wise up and stop moving in round here. But it took them 30 years to clue in. And with nobody else moving in the area and everybody else getting popped off, there's only us left. There's something in the coffin. We think they've moved the Costa in just to get us. They're playing the long game. Now everywhere you look, Costa, Costa, Costa. They've got Bert, bless him. So far I've managed to resist. Give me a pint at 10 in the morning, any day. Costa, Costa, Costa. Now everywhere you look, Costa. Audrey's old house, Costa. The Salon, Costa. The Rovers, Costa. The Community Garden, Costa's Community Garden. And what's next for you two? Will you ever move out of Carnation Street? Oh, bloody well, can't, can we? House prices round here are going for the dogs and we're just waiting for... I just hope it's not part of some silly con artist schemes. I mean, how many mistaken identities and fake baby schemes can you fall for? I feel like I'm living in the bleeding Truman Show sometimes. For years, scientists have known that pheromones, the microscopic smell that we all emit, are one of the biggest indicators in attraction. But are they enough for love? It's reality TV's biggest experiment yet. Can these couples find their soulmate without ever seeing, hearing, or touching them? I just know there's so much I need to learn about love. I never even thought about smell. I'm just playing the game, yo. Smell you later, ladies. Couples will have to choose from just 10 other fellow naive and wounded singles in front of an audience of millions to find their one and only. I'm coming to the sick to film because I read an Instagram post about how it's all the better about decimates. We try to speak because what they smell like is actually like out of our control. So really, as well as my smell, it really can't be trust again. Do you think you're ready for love? I'm sorry, it's better than the smell again. I tried looking. I tried listening. I tried touching. Now it's time to try smelling. I just can't. I can't do this anymore. It's the best man I've ever smelled. Come on, baby. I want to smell you for the rest of my life. Will you marry me? just as sweet. That's what these six couples are here to find out. Stay tuned for our next episode of Are You My Mother? Six children intentionally separated at birth must struggle to find their real mother for our amusement. Here on Reality TV, where other people's pain is our pleasure. Oh, oh I can smell it now myself. Oh, oh, Have I'll... you got an air freshener? What's your name? Amera, Amera Crancy. So it says here that you're a three-time Academy Award nominee for Best Foreign Language Films and Cannes Palme d'Or winner. Your work often focuses on trying to show the world the real lives of people from war-torn countries. That is correct. Never heard of you. Don't mind him, dear. His best friends are Simon Cowell and Piers Morgan. What's your idea? I would like to tell a story of Marianne Amina a tale of a mother and daughter who flee from Yemen, following the bombing that left the home city. We follow them through a perilous journey across the land and sea to finally arrive in the UK. I just don't know who would watch this. 
It's not mean. It's not attacking any celebrities. I mean, you're treating people like multi-layered, complex human beings with the right to empathy and compassion. I just don't get it. Class! Darling, what we're looking for is something which targets the lowest common denominator. Basal human instinct. And here you are, bringing us this. Well, I'm sorry to say, it's artistic rubbish. Trying to elevate the level of discourse in this country. I'm sorry to say, it's a pass from me too. Well, I for one like your idea, Amelia. And I'm willing to fund it. But instead of it being an important and emotionally engaging story of struggle and personal triumph celebrating the human condition, how about this? Let's make it a reality show following your pitch meeting as you sell yourself bit by bit until there's nothing left of you. How does that sound? What? Two on the nose? Welcome back to Home Shopping Network. I'm your host, Kyle Ellis. And with us today, we have the lovely Kelly. Here to show us the latest thing you definitely need. Thank you, Kyle. So do you ever feel like caring about the problems of society is just too hard? Like other people's health and financial problems are constantly getting in the way of you having a good time. I know I do, Kelly. Well, say hello to Apathy. The new fun-filled board game for everyone. Where the less you care, the better you do. Shrug your way through a gauntlet of social and moral dilemmas that seek to tug at your heartstrings. There are plenty of character paths to choose from. Wow, Kelly, I mean, it sounds great, but isn't it a lot of work? Oh, that's the best bit, Kyle. It even comes with its own interactive app, so nobody has to bother to read instructions. It makes the scenarios even more realistic. Maybe you'll be the financial magnet by collecting the most gold at the expense of others. I don't both socks in BP, Exxon and Flow Towers. Would you like to give a percentage of any profits to charity? No! Or perhaps a romantic committophobe. Simply burn your way through a series of romantic partners by systematically wearing them down emotionally and dismissing their feelings. Become the best at explaining how they are behaving irrationally. Sometimes I feel like you don't really listen to my feelings. Calm down. You're acting hysterically. I don't need this drama. Well, don't think we forgot about your spiritual type tech there. Why not try the spiritual, materialistic approach? by investing your resources into gaining the most self-righteous point and becoming the ultimate guru. If you love the idea of mindfulness for yourself but don't want to go to the effort of actually emotionally engaging with others, then this is the character for you. My dog just died. He was the best friend I ever had. Just let it go. Live in the now. You just gained plus two platitude points. Judith? There's something we need to discuss. What? Well, it's becoming increasingly clear that your deep romantic feelings for me are impacting this case. I'm not really feeling that. Well, people expect this of us, Judith. How can you expect them to stay with the constant exposition without a love story? Huh? Huh, Judith? Can we please just get back to the case? Fine, fine. We'll give it a couple of years and my chauvinistic and dismissive attitude will eventually wear you down. Whatever you say, Steve. But you're right, let's stick with the case. We can deal with our inexplicable attractions later. Thank you. Oh, by the way, we found another murder weapon. Why would you bring that? Welcome back to Breaking News at 86,400 Second News Cycle Channel. I'm Robert Carmley. And I'm Joshua Fossil. For our first story today, a young girl and her dog were tracked. Breaking News, the Prime Minister has just issued a warning to anyone in the Greater Manchester region that they should take precaution when leaving or arriving any major areas gathering in fear that it might be Breaking News, the Prime Minister has issued a statement reversing his previous warning about citizens of the Greater Manchester region to take precautions when entering or leaving. Breaking News, the World Trade Organisation has issued a series of warnings regarding the state of all finance related to controversy. Breaking News, the World Trade Organisation has declared the possibility of a worldwide recession if trade is not thick and Breaking News, the World Trade Organisation declared a worldwide recession, which experts think could last several months. Breaking News, the World Trade Organisation has declared 
the press. Breaking news is such breaking news. The press. Breaking news is such breaking news. The press. This just in. I mean, breaking news. Prime Minister Boris Johnson is confident that Mr. Leadership Challenge raised against him earlier today. New Prime Minister Sir Peter Hunter has just been sworn in. Deputy Prime Minister Ben Schrader. New Prime Minister Ben Schrader has just been sworn in. And now you can channel all that selfishness and repression into making yourself number one. Ah, that's amazing, Kelly. Although with this game, I feel like I should be saying, who cares? <laughs> that's the empathy way. The less you care, the better you do. <laughs> and if you win not, who cares? It doesn't make a difference anyway. Try the apathetic approach today. Oh no, not you again. Wait, just you, hear me out. It's a love story. Set in an abattoir. Next! Costa, Costa, it's Please. in the coffee! It's in the coffee, Costa! 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 Sorry, it's in the fear! Death! Bye, bye, bye! Costa, Costa! I'll tell you what. TV today has gone to Hades. Now, back in my day. Back in your day? What about back in my day? In my day, we didn't have a television. We had to make our own entertainment. Ave, ave, oh no, not again, ave, mister. Ave, I'm the oldest ave, here. Ave, 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 ave. Do you ever get the feeling that will be unwatched? No. What else is on? Funny. Yes. I also think funny. You've been watching Future TV.